For over a century, this gargantuan chateau situated in the Blue Ridge Mountains of Asheville, North Carolina has intrigued visitors with its immense scale, European influences, and grounds that put even the grandest of European royal palaces to shame. But what they don't tell you on the standard audio tour is that this 250-room mega mansion hides a multitude of shocking secrets within its walls. Over the next hour, we're going to peel back the veil and expose Biltmore's most ingenious tricks, eccentric quirks, and unsolved mysteries. The Bootlegging Tunnel Now we all know Prohibition in 1920s America was a notoriously wild time, but even notorious figures like Al Capone couldn't have partied as lavishly as George Vanderbilt and his elite guests at the Biltmore Estate. It was common knowledge that lavish balls and galas were a regular occurrence, fueled by only the finest French champagne and spirits. But how were they acquiring such contraband with the country in full ban? Well, thanks to some intrepid ghost hunters with ground-penetrating radar, the answers came to light. Deep beneath the East Lawn lies an extensive tunnel system that leads over a mile to a secluded inlet along the French Broad River. It's clear now this was Vanderbilt's very own underground railroad, transporting boatloads of illegal hooch, safely under cover of darkness, to keep the ragers in full swing without interference from pesky law enforcement. Clearly, no party was complete without breaking a few rules. The Hidden Photography Darkroom In the late 1800s, photography was still in its technological infancy, but George Vanderbilt was an early pioneer of the new visual medium. It's documented that he amassed an impressive personal collection and frequently commissioned portraits of himself, family, and friends. But where was all this photographic work actually developed with the equipment of the time? As it turns out, a nondescript door concealed ingeniously within the winding corridors leads to a fully decked out darkroom, outfitted with safe lights, chemical trays, drying racks, and enlargers. This allowed for complete control over the photographic process without any prying eyes catching an accidental glimpse of works in progress. We can only imagine the candid shots that may have been snapped and developed without permission. The Counterfeit Library When strolling the ornate public rooms of Biltmore, it's impossible not to be impressed by the palatial library centerpiece featuring walls-to-ceiling built-in shelving overflowing with volumes. But all was not as it seemed. Hidden away down a staff-only corridor was another room, designed with the sole purpose of deception. At first glance, it appeared an identical library space, but upon pulling a few dummy books, it became clear the shelves were hollow, filled with plain empty spines, disguising an altogether different purpose within. Some speculate it functioned as a hidden study or storeroom, while others believe it was purely for keeping up illusionary appearances. Either way, it shows even America's wealthiest had their quirks in flaunting their status. The Secret Speakeasy We knew from secret number one that Biltmore's system of underground tunnels had to lead to more fun discoveries, and sure enough, buried deep beneath one of the outbuildings lies a jackpot of prohibited pleasures. Only accessible via a concealed trapdoor hidden under heavy drapes, this member's only basement bar was strictly off-limits to any unwelcome eyes or ears. Lavishly appointed with opulent furnishings, a polished dance floor, fancy gaming tables, and of course, a fully stocked mahogany bar. It's easy to imagine the spirited revelries and shenanigans that took place within these windowless walls, free from societal constraints or legal persecution. What better way to give Prohibition the middle finger in style? The Hidden Servants' Quarters with a truly mind-boggling footprint of over 175,000 square feet, it's inconceivable that not one mention is made to staff accommodations, but hidden from public view lies an entire wing dedicated solely to live in household employees, including private dorms that housed 200 people. Luxuries like communal sitting rooms, an infirmary, exercise yard, and industrial-scale kitchens and dining halls showed just how the other half lived. While staff certainly enjoyed far less lavish surroundings than the opulence found elsewhere, it was still likely the best domestic workplace of the time, a mini palace of its own tucked away from the ostentation next door. The Phantom Footsteps To this day, Biltmore continues to intrigue paranormal researchers with hundreds of reports of unexplained occurrences within its hallowed halls.
One particularly troubling anomaly often cited is the phantom footsteps heard tromping up and down one of the main stairwells in the dead of night, with no visible life source in sight. Could it be the spirit of George himself ensuring his legacy is upheld with the same precision as in life? Eerie EVP recordings occasionally capture otherwise unexplained noises, lending credibility to these persistent apparitions. Only time and a well-placed recording device will tell who or what lurks in the shadows, the hidden murder hole. In times when social unrest and revolution were on the rise, no self-respecting aristocratic estate would be complete without a few strategically placed traps and tricks up its elaborately trimmed sleeves. High above one of Biltmore's grand entries hangs an innocuous-looking circular gap seemingly leading nowhere. But trained ghost hunters with the guts to peer inside have discovered it in fact, drops down the full three stories into the main foyer below. While its original purpose remains ambiguous, some petrifying theories involve more brutal home defense tactics to swiftly dispose of threatening trespassers. Not somewhere we'd want to find myself unwelcome, that's for certain. The booby-trapped secret passages. With such vast grounds to monitor, old Vanderbilt clearly took security very seriously indeed. It said certain concealed doorways found within the nooks of Biltmore's inner walls weren't merely hidden. They were rigged with cunning traps entirely lethal to intruders lacking insider knowledge. Tripwire-activated blades or sudden drops into pools of potent acid below drop panel floors were not beyond consideration. They were definite deterrents ensuring only those in the know could safely traverse uncharted areas after dark. Modern guests beware wandering from guided pathways. The Hidden Shooting Gallery As a true southern gentleman of leisure in the late 1800s, hunting and marksmanship were staples of George Vanderbilt's refined lifestyle. So naturally, he spared no expense in outfitting his palatial estate with every indulgence, including his very own private shooting gallery buried deep within a remote annex building. Complete with concealed entry, soundproofing, and automated animal target cutouts to sharpen skills, even in inclement weather, it was the ultimate game room. We dare say many libations were enjoyed while friends engaged in spirited competitions, blasting away the stresses of high society. The Counterfeit Stairwell This was surely one clever architectural prank that delighted Vanderbilt and his jesting inner circle no end. Hidden from plain sight within the grandeur is what appears to be a totally average grand staircase, until the final steps abruptly end in thin air against a blank wall. But slide back a cunningly disguised panel, and the steps smoothly continue on, winding up to an entire additional hidden level housing who knows what diversions or oddities. Undoubtedly, this strange anomaly gave more than a few guests the fright of their lives if caught unawares. The Speakeasy Shooting Gallery Turns out Vanderbilt's covered basement speakeasy hid even more thrilling treats within its walls. Behind a secret doorway in one of the discreet side chambers lies yet another concealed shooting gallery, loaded and good to go for some fast-paced target practice. Along with pop-up animal silhouettes, it's not hard to imagine rowdy patrons getting a little too tipsy and reckless under flickering safe lights, lead flying every which way. A bizarre and dangerous mashup indeed, but clearly safety wasn't the priority in Prohibition-era fun. The Abandoned Nursery Laboratory Down the long-forgotten corridor of what was once the bustling nursery wing, a heavy locked door now shields the remnants of an astonishing find. A fully equipped chemistry laboratory left to the ravages of time, filled with hanging glassware, medical implements, and crumbling tomes of indecipherable formulas. Some say the Vanderbilts dabbled in exotic horticultural experimentation, while others posit darker medical practices took place within these walls. Either way, among the abandoned antique playthings, it's a seriously eerie discovery that leaves your imagination wandering to darker places. But nothing, we repeat nothing, can prepare you for the number one most insane secret chamber discovered at Biltmore House. Buried a staggering 30 feet below even the deepest known cellar levels, lies a space more substantial and perplexing than sane minds could conceive. A vast self-contained reinforced bunker equipped with independent water, power, air, and supplies that could withstand nuclear fallout for years. Steel armored doors conceal a high-tech control center, lavish sleeping quarters, and clandestine armories stocked to the brim. 
Just what Armageddon-level threats did George Vanderbilt envision in his lifetime? This mystery shelter strikes fear to this day at the potential powers and perceived enemies the Vanderbilts contended with behind closed doors. Be sure to smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you're notified of our next adventure. Join us again next time.